Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, comic book collectors of all ages and movie lovers of all ages. We are Aussieverse here, and I have a discussion that I wanted to bring up between my two good friends here, um, Bo, Omni Bo, and Sharif. But uh, hey. before we get on to that <laughs> topic, how are you doing, fellas? <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Topic, go check us out on Instagram. Um, Aussieverse underscore comics and uh, yeah, go check out our page. Um, we've got good content there, and also our graphic designer is A fifty one Designs. Go check out that page. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the start of the plugging. Um, so let's get into this conversation now. This got came into my head when we were talking about John Wick four. Um, a few colleagues at work, and then it, this conversation struck me. And I thought this would be a great conversation to start with two, you two lovely fellas. Keanu Reeves is very well known. He's been around for a long time. And now, when you think about it, he's had quite iconic roles. He has been in a great franchise of John Wick, as we recently know. He's been in a Matrix franchise. And Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, that is a franchise. And then there's the most one, AI, not the most, but a iconic Character is Johnny Utah in Point Break. So oh, my question is, to you. How dare you? I was going to slide that one in there. <laughs> so my question is to you guys: What do you think is his most iconic and your favourite role and most iconic role? What do you think he? And also, what do you think he's going to be remembered for most? Oh, <laughs> Batman DC League of Super Pets. <laughs> No, um, <laughs> as, I, as I as as I clearly just showed in your intro, um, Point Break it was always the main one for me. Um, that movie was huge when I was growing up because my brother loved that movie, and it was oh, it was at an age where I wasn't I either wasn't old enough or mature enough to start watching action type movies yet. Um, you know, I was more into the immature fantasy type of young kid movies. And my brother used to always love Point Break. And by the time I got old enough, I saw what he was talking about, man, and I freaking loved it. But on top of that, uh, besides that, Bill and Ted, yeah, I mean, <laughs> dude, Bill and Ted. <laughs> um, but what will he be remembered for most of all? I mean, it's kind of hard to go past John Wick because it's so current, right? Um, but if you're going to go of all time, I mean, let's take a look here. I've got IMDB open, right? Um, and I'm trying to look at something that you haven't mentioned. And there is a speed. lot of stuff. It was speed. But, uh, um, speed. yeah, while well, I scroll through this, Sharif. Yeah, your view, Sharif. Um, I think the first, the first Keanu uh, Reeves movie that I've seen was what one of uh, the, the two Bill and Ted uh, movies. But you know, it was a time when I was young and he was a young actor. Didn't know who he was. Um, I didn't watch uh, Point Break, but I I think the next one. That I did watch with him uh, in the lead role was Speed. Um, it it was a good action. It was a good action movie. Uh, but you know his character wasn't. Too, I don't know. It, it wasn't uh, that dramatic or beefy enough to uh, hold him as an actor or my interest that much. The story was was good though, but when the late nineties, uh, early, early two thousands came along, and damn Matrix, oh, I, I think that's that's when he got on my radar. Um, I got I got um, the the DVD of the first movie, and I replayed it and replayed it and replayed it. Um, it yeah it for. Just, just for the Matrix, uh, that franchise, I think 
kind of propelled him into the next tier uh, of uh, of Hollywood, and then I think it set him up for bigger and better things like John Wick. Mm. All right. Uh, but, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, yeah, but I, I th- mm. for me, he he will be uh, remembered for the Matrix. But I had most fun with him as uh, the Bill and Ted duo. Yeah, that's it for me. Nice. Right. Well, I've just gone through IMDb, and the movies that I want to point out, right, is that you've got Constantine, you've got Devil's Advocate, Chain Reaction, mm-hmm. Johnny Mnemonic, Dracula, uh, mm-hmm. The Lake House, The Day the Earth Stood Still, The Replacements, oh. and least of all, not. Uh, least of all, not. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is also the uh, Paula Abdul film clip, Rush, Rush, where Keanu Reeves was the love interest in that film clip. So looking back over Keanu Reeves' uh, history and seeing all of that, my answer, I think, would have to be is what he's going to be most remembered for as a whole. If you ask the entire population of the planet, it would be a tie between... John Wick and The Matrix. Mm. It's a really hard one to pick with. Like, to go off what you have said, my first memory of him was Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Um, look, they, they were such fun as kids. They were such fun as when we were kids. So it, it's nostalgic there. But it was really weird transitioning from that and then you got, you got point break and you got speed. He all of a sudden turned into an action hero, so it was kind of weird to start with because you just remember him from those movies. But it, you forget about it, especially Point Break. You forget about it real quick. Well, like, a lot of actors have, have you know, <laughs> done stuff like that. I mean, I, I remind you, John Travolta, he came from Saturday Night <laughs> Fever and, you know, and Greece to, to you know, so these other roles that uh, from sorry he he didn't come from that he came from Welcome Back Cotter yeah yeah you know, to dancing yeah. to you know I mean geez mate <laughs> yeah yeah no it's yeah, as I said well, I forgot about it real quickly it's just sometimes it's hard you, you can stereotype a person I mean like you don't see Will Ferrell as an action hero <laughs> <So>. <laughs> uh, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I would say, like, because the Matrix at the time was was massive. Like, it was a uh, game changer for, for movies. For, for for In my time, basically, you had Terminator 2 and then you had this. Um, uh, so I thought, uh, look, I, I think as people as a whole, you probably would think, me just thinking in, in my head, I think most people remember him for John Wick purely because... Uh, the Matrix can be confusing for some people, so and yeah. everybody loves John Wick, so that would be mine. But for me, it, it would be Neo um, Matrix for me, so because I loved all them. Uh, watching, they're not as good as a watch anymore. Have you tried to rewatch all the Matrixes? When the new one came out, I did. Yep. Yeah. What, oh. Did you change opinion, or do you still loved it, or still awesome? Yeah, <laughs> I fell asleep. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the new one wasn't great at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about the original trilogy. Yeah, the original. Still awesome. Yeah. The new one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So look, look. Um. Yeah, my my answer personally, I'd say Neo from Matrix, but I think we mainly be remembered for John Wick. It, it's amazing how much. Like, for just a simple movie as it is, like a person kills his dog, then he goes on a rampage, yeah. how much traction it's got and yeah. how much everybody's just on board with it. Everyone's going, you watched a new John Wick movie yet? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not people talking. Like, people at my work who are not even movie buffs, they're going, yeah, we're going to see John Wick this weekend. It'll be fun. So, one, yeah. of the, one of the things that I think is attractive about John Wick is the fact that it's, you know, most action movies are either hand-to-hand combat, cars, weapons, you know, whatever. John Wick is everything. <laughs> it's just there's there's everything in that. And it's just it 
feeds every single type of action movie hunger that you've got. You know, and you get just... exhausted by the end of it, don't you? It's just go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we say that though until the next ten Berserk movies come out. Not Berserk, yes. Berserker, sorry. <laughs> you think we think he's getting too old for it? It just doesn't seem like he's aging. No, he's, he's Tom Cruise, mate. They're the same person. <laughs> you know? have, you, have we ever seen a Tom Cruise and Keanu Reeves movie? No. <laughs> you ever seen them together at the Oscars? You. <laughs> I can't say I watch the Oscars too much. You know why? That's besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I thought this would. Um, I thought I'd bring up this discussion because I was interested to see. Um, people are welcome to comment. Comment in the comment section. Tell us what you think is his most memorable movie. You personally, and what do you think he's going to be remembered for? Also, as a second question. So, um, yeah, leave a comment. Um, be sure you like and subscribe as well, and uh, go check out our channel. There's plenty more content, plenty more just simple conversations like this. Or we're going to do book reviews, movie reviews. We got it all. So, that is it. Any more, anyone got anything else to to bring up? Or I think you have ended up perfectly. P.S. Go check out Keanu Reeves giving the bus seat to a lady because that's what he should be remembered for, man. Yeah, that went yeah. a while ago. Oh. I don't know if reaction, Sharif, but okay. <laughs> yeah. um, see you later, guys. <laughs> Aussie versus for life. <laughs> <laughs> it always is. Comex, who are they? Let me show you. This show is sponsored by the Comex Shop. Check out comex.cx for all things comics and find out what comics is all about. We hope you enjoyed the show.